We're just seeing a lot of sunshine. This is the time lapse over the last six hours. We see some high clouds passing through overhead throughout the first half of the day. We're going to see that this afternoon, but those are just filtering the sun. They are not blocking it, and our temperatures have warmed up quite a bit after a warm start this morning. We only dropped down to 71 for a low this morning. We're up to 85 degrees right now at RDU. Other temperatures, the low 80s in southern Virginia. South Hill, the flag standing out because those winds out of the northwest are blowing at a noticeable level, bringing some lower humidity air to central North Carolina. It's 85 degrees in Goldsboro. The camera, there it goes. We're seeing that blue sky with a little bit of cloud cover in the distance. Still some haze. The humidity has not gone away. It's not going to go away, but it is going to remain tolerable for about 48 hours. 85 degrees right now in Raleigh, 83 Durham, 88 degrees right now in Chapel Hill and in Cary. Those are the hot spots around the triangle. Only 82 degrees right now in Lewisburg. Just a little cooler in Franklin County. Upper 80s to around 90 around Cumberland County. 90 on the button right now in Fayetteville. Same thing for Eastover in Stedman. 92 degrees, the hot spot in Grays Creek. Everybody else around Cumberland County getting close to 90 degrees already. So that lower humidity area will be very welcome. Not a huge difference between the air temperature and the heat index for the rest of the afternoon. The air temperature will be hot enough. We'll top out above 90 degrees for that high in the triangle. Maybe staying below 90 along the Virginia state line. Lucky you. Low 90s, a little farther into the low 90s for Fayetteville and the Sand Hills, the southern coastal plain. Our temperatures drop off steadily this evening. We'll still be around 80 degrees by 10 o'clock, but we end up in the 60s tomorrow morning. Maybe a degree or two below average for a change. But a big warm-up is in store for us. We're still going to make it up to around or just above 90 degrees for high temperatures on Wednesday. By this time tomorrow, mid to upper 80s. About where we are right now, including including the humidity levels. Those aren't going to change much over the next 24 hours now that they have noticeably dropped. Maybe a degree warmer around Fayetteville by tomorrow afternoon. In terms of that muggy meter, we started off this morning with humid conditions, but it's been trending downward into the tolerable category, and that's where it's going to stay through about tomorrow night, and then back up into the muggy to occasionally flat out uh, sultry, humid categories. We go through Thursday, Friday, and into the weekend. Some ups and downs within those categories, but in terms of enough moisture to fuel any rain chances, it's going to be a pretty dry atmosphere as you look through the whole depth of the sky overhead for the next couple of days, but eventually the winds turn back out of the south, and we're going to see enough moisture to feed into a chance of a spotty shower or thunderstorm Friday and Saturday. Best chance of spotty storms will probably be on Sunday, but even then, we're only talking about a 30% chance. That leaves you 70% chance of staying dry. Just be flexible with any outdoor plans. It's never bad advice this time of year because when it gets humid, we always have that chance of popping the lid on the atmosphere in a couple of spots and getting a few storms to develop. Not a whole lot of daily change to our high temperatures. In the low to even mid-90s, looks like Friday will be the hottest day. Low temperatures steadily warm up the rest of the week. A couple nights in the upper 60s, that's not too bad, but then it's back into the low 70s.